water, water everywhere. But what pours in must drain out. Wastewater treatment plants clean it before it flows back to the environment. It's a process that takes time, money, and a whole lot of energy. But what if wastewater could itself be turned into energy? Sound too good to be true? We can literally take this, pour in the wastewater, and we'd make electricity. Environmental engineer Bruce Logan is working on ways to make that happen. We're using bacteria to actually turn any organic matter and some inorganic matter directly into electricity. The bacteria do it themselves. And that's how we're running this fan. Some treatment plants already use bacteria to break down the organic waste in the water. Logan and his team at Penn State are taking that idea a step further. They're developing microbial fuel cells to channel the bacteria's hard work into energy. We can make all sorts of different kinds of energy. Here's a little cartoon that shows how it works. The bacteria eat the organic waste, releasing electrons as a byproduct. Those collect on carbon bristles in the fuel cell, eventually flowing through a circuit, shown here powering a light bulb. We're looking at how we link these reactors together in order to multiply the power. Logan says these wastewater batteries will be useful if they can generate enough energy to be cost effective. In the early reactors, we used very expensive graphite rods and precious metals like platinum. And then we've now reached the point where we don't have to use any precious metals. The latest versions are already using cheaper, more environmentally friendly materials. And Logan is testing another system that would use salt water in the fuel cell to generate even more electricity. You're actually creating energy and desalinating the water and treating the wastewater. It's a, you know, a triple play. Logan expects it will be at least five years before these microbial fuel cells are ready for use in the real world. The goal is that they would eventually be able to generate enough electricity to power an entire wastewater treatment plant, maybe even more. And that's a powerful idea. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.